Hello everybody, it's me, the Masked Guy. And last time I forgot to show you the ending that I got when I beat Mom's Heart as Samson. So here we go. I forgot to do it. I was doing it at the end of the rest of them when I got carried away talking about the blue baby. Although, speaking of which... And there we go. Isaac finds what is, you know, theoried to be himself, the dead himself. You know, if he, as if he died when he was inside the chest. Basically, that's... And, you know, he sees himself and he's like, oh my god, it's a dead me. Which would make sense, I suppose, really. Especially when it comes to later on when you're fighting more of the later bosses. Anyway, time to jump into the game as Azazel. Who hopefully won't be as bad as last time. Or, well, actually, no, I beat the game as Azazel before. And I beat the game as Samson. I don't know what I meant by that, sorry. I'm a little bit distracted. Also, I'm sorry if I sound really bunged up. I am. Oops. Sorry, I'm wasting time now. Although, this will be good enough time to get a reference seed. But, uh, yeah. I'm thirsty. I got more of this Starbucks stuff. Turns out, I didn't realise it actually had a caffeine content. But it turns out it does. I can't even open this. The bottle's too wet. And therefore my hand is slippery. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Oh yeah, it's yummy. I need some sort of caffeine. Also a little bottle of Mountain Dew, but I'm gonna drink this instead. <sighs> Thing is, there's a Starbucks that opened up pretty near to me. In the city. And it's really not that great. I mean, I got loyalty card glasses because I'm addicted to loyalty cards to places. But I mean, otherwise, I don't really know. So I'm going to get comfy. I hope you can still see me. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, I suppose Starbucks is the kind of thing where you really have to be super hipster and you don't want to be associated with being in there. Because of all the stupid coffee that they have. But I don't know. I mean, it, was, it wasn't any better or worse than any other mocha I've ever had. Oh, Polyphemus. So, slower charge. Much slower charge, but a hell of a lot more damage. So hopefully this slow charge is going to be worth it. Because otherwise I'll be kind of pissed. I mean, it seems to be worth it so far, but that was a weak enemy. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you really just don't want to release too soon. <laughs> Sorry. I thought of sex in my head. Uh... Okay, yeah, one-shotting pin was kind of worth it. A range up is also quite nice. I was reading about Azazel earlier on, though, and, like, you know, it was kind of going on about the different items and stuff you can get. And, yeah, Polyphemus was down as one of the kind of more controversial ones just because it's a big power-up, but it's... Yeah, it's pretty slow. Oh, I'm just going to hide back in here while this I charge. At least the Zazel can fly, so you know it's not as bad as getting regular brimstone and being stuck with the enemies. Not finish Widow off. Yeah, it's not too bad really. <laughs> speed and shot speed up. Oh yeah, that doesn't increase my tears though. Okay. I could take that, but I would just die instantly. Which is a shame because I like the mark. <laughs> but I would die instantly. Oh well. Moving on. Damn it, there's always one. You see, now I don't know what would happen if I got something like the uh, soy milk. Or, you know, number one. Because I don't think it would counteract the damage that I got. I'm not really sure what would happen. Well, soy milk might. It'll probably half my damage or whatever. Oh shit. Actually, that saves a lot of time. This might be agonizingly slow. I mean, come on, look at this charge speed. Otherwise, Polyphemus would be a great first first room item to get. Yeah, I'm going to show. I'm, I'm just going to start calling it Poly. Yeah, I don't even have enough time to break all these poops, which usually is pretty easy. There's nothing in the shop for me, is there? Actually, I haven't even gotten. Oh shit. Sorry, I have to pay more attention. I haven't even got the item room yet, have I? No, I don't think I have. I gotta go find that shit. Uh, 
try and bomb here? No, that's not that's not a good sign. I will try to bomb here. Wait, that won't take me into this. I that won't take me into the item room. Shit. In that case, it's obviously here. Because it's the intersection of three rooms, but that's not good at all. I need a key. Oh, balls. Where? Where? God. Where could the other room be? The super secret room. Not like it's going to have a key in it anyway, but still. Okay, there we go. Oh, hearts. Where? I hate missing out on item rooms. It's such a pain in the ass. Let me in. There's nowhere else I can actually get keys from now. Well, moving on. Hopefully this slow charge one heart and um, high damage will get me through the game. Charge up before I go into the next room. Oh, these guys can actually shoot me. Oop. Although they go in a V-shape, so they're easy to dodge. Yay, another fool card. Just what I needed. Maybe I'll get something that'll make me better in here. Bleh. Nope, more money that I can't spend without a key. Oh, unless I find an arcade. What's in here? A pill. Oh, that's actually really handy. Thank you, game. Uh, I forget what the rosary bean does. I should check my internet. I should check the Platinum God, but I don't have the thingy with me. Plus, I've checked this several times in the past, and I just keep on forgetting. I was just about to bomb the middle place there, saying that's exactly where the secret room is going to be. Totally forgetting that I was just in the secret room, and I have this thing that tells me where it is now. Okay, so here is the item room again. Fortunately, I still can't do anything. <gasps> Key! Actually... The Dead Sea Scrolls isn't actually that bad. I was just doing a run through with Lazarus on my Vita and the Dead Sea Scrolls got me through it. So it's actually not too bad. Ooh, jeez. For example, I use it. Okay, it was a tarot card effect. Sorry, I should elaborate. The Dead Sea Scrolls basically does a random spacebar item effect. So for example there, it did the deck of cards. And that gave me a temperance card. Two keys. Thank you, game. I really want to go through here, but it'll half kill me. Unless... Okay, that was dumb of me. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, that was close. That could have ended the game for me right there. <laughs> Whew, thank you. God, that was close. Anyway, let's try this again. I have no idea what that did. Might have been the Necronomicon because all the enemies flashed red for a second, which means I hurt them. And another pill. Oh, amnesia. I kind of know where I'm going anyway, though. Here is new to me. An easy room to go through. There we go. And. Yeah, now I'll be able to go into the shop for free, which is nice because I'm very low on keys. I really just want to put this bomb right here and see what happens. It should pay off. Nope, it did nothing. I know that there's no tinted rocks there, but I was hoping I might get a trapdoor. I was wrong. But I mightn't have been wrong, and then it would have been worth it. Where's the shop? Here we go. I'll charge up just in case there's a boss. No. Not a lot. I'll take this. And I'll donate some money because my shop isn't great. Black Candle is a handy item. That basically eliminates curses. It prevents you from ever finding another curse in the game. And if you have a curse at the time, then it'll just remove it right there and then. I'm gonna blow this up too. Hmm. Nope. Still, I like blowing up mushrooms because it pays off. I mean, especially if you get the uh, magic mushroom. Which makes you really big and increases all of your stats. Which is why, in my opinion, the um, mini mush, or no, whatever it's called, the little random trinket that you get that gives you different mushroom effects is one of my favorites because it's, I don't know, I think all of the mushroom effects are good. 
so it's worth it overall. Oh shit, I've got Curse of the Lost again. I just realized there that I, I forgot the amnesia wasn't lasting, so it's actually just another floor with the lack of being able to see where I am. Which is great, really. I love it. Still though, I like these kind of runs, you know, it's a bit more challenging. I haven't got hit in a while, except for that time I stupidly flew into the fire and almost killed me unless I hadn't got a soul heart from the chest. Oh shit. This isn't good. Then to crack out the death card. And I've used enough death cards so I've unlocked the Necronomicon. Which basically is a usable item that does exactly the same thing as the death card does. Okay, here we go. Finally, something that'll stop me from being killed immediately. And the mushroom I was talking about that I like. I'll grab this and this and I'll go back in here and blow up some more mushrooms. Because I'm really adamant on getting a mushroom out of the mushrooms. It'll happen eventually, you trust me. Moving on. Uh, which way haven't I gone? Oh, there's a door here too. I'm gonna charge up again. And boom! Red heart. I mean, you can get red hearts as a Zazel. I'm just being really unlucky and not getting any. Uh, bleh. I forget, have I found the item room already? Maybe I have? Oh, I did, yeah, I got the holy mantle. Jesus, I've got such bad short-term memory and range down is not what I want this game. Uh, hey, soul heart. I'm not going to die straight away again. I would like that um, fanny pack, but I'm going to have to not get it because I don't have any money. Whoop. Yeah, I think I've gotten kind of used to the slow charge now, because like once you can once you can kind once you can accommodate for it, and you kind of give yourself enough room, then it's really not too bad. I know it's still a pain in the ass, but not as bad as it was originally. Yay, Stumpy, and whatever else. I think it also makes me stronger. But Stompy is the main thing. Actually, maybe I will buy that trinket. Remember that um, fanny pack after all. Oh, well, don't mind if I do, game. Thank you very much. You see, I'm still a firm believer of that the game can be nice to you. Now I just have to remember where the shop is. This is totally the wrong direction. Which is bad because this place is going to be full of spiders. Because these guys just spawn them constantly. No. There we go. Now I'll just have to hang out in the middle because that's where the spiders can't reach me. Perfect. And oh, as I'm on the way, I'm also going to use the last bombs in the item room. And blow my way through. This is totally the wrong way. I don't know where I'm going. Where's the shop? Well, no, not the shop. Where's the item room? Where are they both? Okay, here's the item room. Go through here and do this. I'm need your pill. I'm going to use it just because. Where is the shop? Uh, shop? Shop. So now when I get hit, there's a chance it'll drop an item. Something like a heart or a bomb or a key or whatever. And now I'll make my way back over and see if I can remember where the boss is. I think this is the right way to go. Down. Perfect. First things first, crack out the book. Or the scrolls or whatever. You see, sometimes then you just don't know what it did. I mean, there's a chance it could have, like, you know, did the book of revelations and give me a soul heart. Or could have given me homing or anything. It's really hard to know. Well, moving on. Hopefully I'll get a map this time, or at least not get a curse. Good. I know I'm flying past all the fire and, you know, not breaking all the poops and stuff, but you understand that it takes way too long to do that when I'm this slow. Strength, I like it. I always kind of avoid the big rooms first, even though a lot of times they're the right way to go. I just kind of feel that there should be another way I can go first. And it'll benefit me more. 
There we go. Hey, item room. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Thingy's bouncing all over the place. Especially at me. That one done. Perfect. It didn't completely kill me. Samson's Chains. This is a new addition. The old ball and chain. Now I can smash through things with my chain. It also hurts enemies. But... Not to a great extent, really. Maybe it does, I don't know. This is a much easier item to use when you can fly, though. Oh, God damn it! You see, when you can fly, then, you know, you can actually go through the rocks. Whereas if you're not flying, then you have to swing it around, like you're using Guppy's tail. Or Guppy's hairball, I mean, sorry. Okay, I have to, I have to just charge at enemies really I think that's the best way to do it which you know is what the book the mask of infamy does so it's only fair that I do the same thing and uh, is it worth it four coins not really no I'm gonna blow this guy up though because I forget if I've unlocked a lucky toe yet well that got me nothing and it was a total waste of a bomb at least I don't have to use bombs to blow open the mushrooms anymore though because now I've got my little ball and chain that I can do that I can do that for me Take on the boss. Speaking of the mask. Oh jeez. Uh, okay, I think that does use a kamikaze effect. Luckily it didn't hurt me. Because of the whole, um... Whatever you call it. What do you call it again? Oh, the mantle, yeah. Yeah, that really wasn't worth the three hearts. It was just a little follower that used spectral tears. Familiar, that's the word I was trying to think of. Ah, oh, actually I can break these. I get more cards inside them. And charge up just in case there's an enemy. Nope, nothing. Hey, lots of rocks. These are the kind of rooms I like. I just charge through everything. It's cool though because it doesn't necessarily decrease your speed stat, but the ball does drag you down. And it, when you're moving it kind of feels like it's pulling you back. Which is a nice little touch. I kind of like how it works. Oh jeez, down I hear when it happens. When you think you're fully charged, but you just let go of that tiny bit too soon. Again, they're thinking about sex. Ooh. Well, that was a waste of the holy mantle. Hey, the boat just teleported me somewhere. What was in there again? I think there was something that was worth it. Ooh jeez. Joker. Wait, I've already been in here. Still though, I'm going to keep that card. And I got a health from the thingy. I know this is probably boring me flying around in circles, but uh... You know, there's a lot of rocks. And eventually I'm going to find something in one of them. Like a trapdoor. Or an actual item. Yeah, there we go, we got a black card out of one of them. Two diamonds, double up my money. Two of hearts, I don't need it. I'll go back to Joker. That card is the strength one, don't want that either. I want someone that'll take me somewhere else though. Guppy Scholar! How many Guppy items do I have now? Oh I forgot, I don't even need to teleport out of the spiky room because, yeah, obviously, I don't get hurt. Oh, that's my first Guppy item. I could have sworn there was one in the arena though. I'm gonna go back down and check. Is there anything? Oh, the goat's head, that was it. And now I have to go back in here again. At least I didn't waste my uh, thingy as stupidly. My holy mantle protection. Okay, that was the stupid though. There we go. I swung the thing around. One guy done. I'm not used to having little followers who can actually stop the shots. Mm, that's a bit late, isn't it? Ooh, don't wanna run right don't wanna run right into that. It'll just explode in my face. Hey, tinted rock. I really wanna get enough tinted rock so I'll unlock the um If you blow up like a hundred tinted rocks, then you unlock 
basically a rock inside the tinted rock and it's an item and it just increases your damage that's it i think i think that's all it does still though it's really handy for the cost of one bomb like i'm gonna buy this pill i'm feeling lucky there we go balls of steel now that's in my um pill pool so hopefully that'll come up more often i think that's how it works that's how it feels like it works you know no, I still don't want it. You know, if it was something useful, like brimstone, then maybe. Oh, by the way, if you get brimstone as a Zazel, it just becomes brimstone. This is a full-length one. Which, for obviously, for everyone, is some sort of a super supercharged attack. But for, for, but for a Zazel, it is just, like, a big upgrade. Uh, yeah, I know that. I don't know a whole lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I should um, spend my Joker card. Because hopefully, because I didn't take the last Devil Deal, it will take me to the Angel Room. If I'm lucky. No, but... Yes, all the same. Guppy's Ball, I can't actually use this, but it's still worth taking because there's a two, two parts Guppy. I'll take the Pact because that'll make me like hella strong. Also, I definitely need the strength. Although, I did need the tears up. I mean, it's not a massive increase in speed, but it definitely charges faster. Also, did I just say hella? Because I never say hella. So, if that made me sound stupid, I apologize. But, there we go. I said it anyway. Kamikaze. God damn it. Basically, you use it and it just explodes and you hurt yourself. I mean, it's a strong enough explosion, but you still hurt yourself. Totally not worth it. I'm not even going to demonstrate it. Whoa. Damn it, I was me meant to run into him there. Oh well, I'm just happy I can actually charge up a little bit faster. Uh, and yeah, if I move a little bit faster too, I should be able to get through everything like that. Blech. What's in here? Oh man. I should have timed it so I could get the thingy to blow it up. Oh well. Lots of bombs, lots of keys, lots of monies. Yeah, I'm so disappointed I did. Un that I had an uh, unlucky item in there. Another fool card, double up my money again. Ugh. Oh man. I was gonna attack, but I think the carriage kinda messed it up. So yeah, I'm gonna go through here. Probably nothing worth it in here. Nope. I think that was was the I think that was just a yum heart. So it just it just healed me. Which was a waste, because I don't have any red hearts. Now, where do I want to go? Hey, golden poop. Thank you. God, my nose is ochi. I'm sorry, I feel like I can barely talk properly with this. With my stupid nose being all stupid and annoying. And my nose is also super itchy, but I'm just like forcing myself to not scratch it. Because I'm always scratching my nose in, in my videos, and it's probably not very appealing. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't been to the shop yet because I didn't bother. Even though now that I ask you have enough money to buy something, it's totally going to be greed. Wait for it. Greed. Hey, steamy sale. How many shops do I have left? None. Okay, so steamy sale is now officially useless. That's the thing, there really aren't enough shops in this game. You know, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I know 6 is a lot. Oh, Jesus, that was close. 6 is a lot when you're playing through it. Oh jeez. But, I mean, you get the steamy cell on the last shop, and you don't actually get to even get a last shop, you just get, like, mini boss, and that's it. At least I'm making good time. 1944, if I can beat mom in 20 seconds, it's not gonna happen. Taking into consideration my charge speed, 
Oh my god, I actually did it. Okay. Now, here we go. Instant Brimstone. Once again. Libra saves the day. Super range. I've got. I can shoot much further now. My damage has dropped a little bit, but not a whole lot, really, when you think about it. Ow. I no, I think it still worked out well for me. If I wanted to, I could actually leave right now before I go. Before it gets any deeper. Oh, okay, that hurt. That was my own fault for making a really bad reference. But, um... Shit! Why do I keep getting hit by him? But anyway, yeah, I could use the Fool card and teleport out of here. But I still want to see it through to the end, because I'm, I'll unlock a new item. And I'll get another new item at the end of this playthrough as well. Ugh. But yeah, still, I mean, I'm... You know, I'm happy they didn't just get, like, shit choices in here. I don't know why I always jump back here, it's just a habit. There we go, come on. I know that there's still like a red poop around the place, but luckily the whole place didn't get filled up with it, like happens sometimes. Although I think there is another, um, black bomb spider flying around somewhere. I thought I heard a soul heart drop there. Maybe not. Any bombs or any batteries anywhere? So I could use my book again? I probably should have saved my book for in here, but I honestly did not think I was going to get beat mom in that amount of time. Actually, I should finish this guy off first. This is much more annoying. Plus, I don't think he can actually hurt him. They can't, like, do damage to each other as far as I know. Unless you charm them. Yeah, charming attacks are so handy in this. Oh, these. How did he get over here so fast? Come on, give me decent hearts, not just shitty red hearts the whole time. Whoa. Oh god. Although the blow can actually hurt the Mask of Infamy. Which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, there we go. That's the worst of them done. Now there's the Horseman, which really isn't that bad. Oh, that was close. He almost hit me after me saying they're not that bad. Ow. Two more to go. Oh well, not two more of these guys, two more waves. Okay, ow again. Oh, come on, I can't die now, I'm doing so well. He jumps out again, does more bombs. Where's the horse gone? He usually sees his horse like flying around randomly. I think he got blown up by war's bonds. Anyway, one more to go. Oh jeez. Ah. God damn it. I'm doing so close. I'm doing really badly though. I shouldn't be getting hit this much. Right, okay, there we go. I've unlocked the nail. The item really wasn't worth the payoff. Or, you know, the payoff wasn't worth the effort, whatever I mean. Still, well no, I mean the second one, the homing bombs. Because I don't really use much bombs. Now let's see what's in the devil deal. Oh yeah, I was already in here, wasn't I? Break through the rest of these, see if I find anything nice. And I suppose I'll take the negative. Even though I might actually still end up losing this game. I think it's still worth it. It was still a good run. Well, actually no, it wasn't worth it if I didn't win. As long as I can beat mom's heart, I'll be happy. Just because this is an important one. It's probably the most important unlock from beating Mom's heart. Because it changes the entire game. You just have to wait and see what it is, because it'll be soon, hopefully, when I actually beat it. 
Oh jeez, although I must forget, I must remember now that I'm actually going to take two hearts of damage instead of one. I just forgot it, and I just remembered it. So yeah, I only actually have two hits left now. So I had to be really careful. And I don't know how many I can take. At least that guy doesn't shoot, because I don't technically shoot tears. There we go. Hmm. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the holy mantle, though. That'll protect me. And so now I've got three hits left. And yeah, Libra really helped me out with um, normal enemies. Oh, I hate being so congested. Bleh. Ooh, Tinted Rock. I love secret tinted rocks. I haven't become gubby yet, have I? No, I haven't. Otherwise, I'll be spawning flies every time my laser ticks. Oh, that was close. Also, I have to remember now that I don't need to charge up so much. But yeah, Polyphemus in these situations is actually really good. Because you get all the benefits of the power and all that. And it just equally spreads throughout your whole thing. There we go. So now all the power is focused into speed and range and everything. So yeah, even though Libra balances all your stats, it really feels like it does just set everything evenly, but it doesn't actually reduce anything. That's how it feels anyway. Get out of the way. And one more. Perfect. Now who's in here? Lots of spiders. What a waste. But at least none of them hit me, so I don't have to take a hit. I don't have to learn any lessons. It's a shame I'm not going to get use from pretty much any of these keys. Wait, I thought, oh yeah, I thought I got Guppy's tail, but I didn't. I got the paw. Whoop. God, I'm kicking so much ass. Mama Gertie. Ooh, bombs. Yeah, so the homing bomb actually slightly came in handy there. Rudy's. Mama Gertie is so much easier when you can fly because her spike can't hurt you and that goop on the ground doesn't slow you down. So really, flying is the only way you can beat her easily. And Devil Deal. HP, tears up, shots be down. I'll get that afterwards because I don't want to fall through that little bit in the ground. And I won't bother taking Judas' shadow because, I mean, I'd want to come back as a different character. Hey, double locked room. Something good? Nope. Some little dead guy and a pair of spiders. Thing is, even if it was a one or a six dice room, I didn't know. I don't really know if it would be worth taking. I might as well take it. It's probably not going to be worth anything though, so I should just use the food card and get the hell out of here. Whoop. But I just wanted to test out my strength in that all again. Because it's fun! Bah. And... Chub! Yeah, I like the way you can kind of... you know the patterns eventually of who's going to come next. That's not just totally random. Although that would probably be more fun. As opposed to knowing exactly who you're going to go up against next. But maybe it'd be too hard to fully randomize it because you get like awkward bosses who you couldn't fight in one room. Although you could just get a boss pool, I suppose. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I'm not an expert. Game design. So I'm in no position to be criticizing or making suggestions. Whoop. Hey, I was just in here. It's easy to not let those guys break free. Oh, get away. Uh, I'm actually, I was really surprised that I managed to survive the boss rush because I was taking a lot of hits. And now the whole game, you know, after the whole Polyphemus disaster, that just slowed everything down. I thought that was it for me. I thought it was game over. But here I am, still going strong and I'm almost at mom's heart. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Dead end. I went totally the wrong way. 
I'll take a strength card though because the fool is kind of worthless. Uh -huh. Whoa. Trying to crack out this card again. Don't know what it did this time though. Yeah, I don't like when you don't know what happens. You know, like some things there's a little indication or whatever, like a sound or whatever, but not this one. Maybe I. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what kind of number my luck is at. Because that's more of the pinky I would be depending on. My luck looks pretty low, so I think I should jump back to the other one. If I could carry both, that would be great. But I can't. Hello. Oh, there's two of them. And neither of them went towards me. Oh, I got hit that time. There we go. That was easy. Yeah, I'm exploring the whole place. Hey, it was worth it. Come on, something nice. Hopefully. Also, I feel like I had to move the microphone away because the S sounds seem to come on really strong. Ah, food. Have I finished my drink? Oh no, I have a tiny little bit left. Sorry, how unprofessional of me. I never really get why you have to shake drinks well. I mean, I know some of them have bits floating in them. Which, you know, for the most part, something like that, I don't know why you'd have to shake that well. Oh, that was handy. Pop up behind him and blast him to pieces. On his heart. What did that do? I have no idea. Actually, I should use this as well. Oh wow, that gives me a lot more range. Also, is my... Um okay, that's actually... Oops, that was very stupid of me. But it's really handy to know that the ball and chain actually blocks shots as well. So if I can stay behind that, then that'll be a massive help. And here we go. I've unlocked eight lives. And I've unlocked two challenges. So yeah, it lives is a very important one. Because, as I say, it will change the, how the entire game from here on in is played. And I'll actually be able to start working on unlocking the um, Polaroid. Because I haven't yet, have I? I've only unlocked the negative. Oh yeah, of course I have, yeah. Otherwise I would have seen the Polaroid as well when I can pick the negative. Because to be honest, I prefer I'd rather go into the chest than go into the dark world the dark room. And I'm gonna go fight a mini boss. Ah, envy, that should be easy. Because yeah, I still don't understand why the um mini mush or the fuzzy cap or whatever the hell it's called gives you a random compass effect sometimes. When as far as I know, no mushroom effects actually do that. Two of spades, doubling of my keys, which might be handy when I get to the dark room to get some more items, which there's a lot of locked chests. I can't believe I still haven't become guppy though. I mean, I was so close. Although at least I still only need one more power plant. You know, one more devil deal would be nice. Oh, range down, that's not good. I'll hold on to it though. It's not too late to get a PhD, even though it totally is, unless I get a black market. Ooh, jeez. That was close. God, I do not like this room. Time to bring out the book. Oh, what the hell? I didn't realize there was that guy in here too. I don't think he's something that I got from using that carriage. Oh, death carriage. That'll do. Yeah, I have no idea where the hell that guy came from. That was really weird. Range down is bad. Oh, so I'm guessing I'm back to carrying around a fool card with me the whole time. And there's a special red monster too. Who, to be honest, I think he just moves faster. And he only spawns out two little scooty flies when he lands the second time. As far as I know. I don't think there's any other differences. Oh. Jeez, that holy mantle is keeping me alive. I'd probably would have lost the game like ten times over if that wasn't if that wasn't there. Oh. 
Perfect. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I wanted to try and find Guppy. Oh yeah, let's go for Devil Deal here. Unless I find a trapdoor. Although I'm not gonna get Guppy in a trapdoor. Because you need to be, um... Let me break it. No, it didn't work. The trapdoor is only shop item. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I shouldn't be... God damn it. I shouldn't be putting control of my face. A, because you can't see me, and B, because it's getting in my way. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? I think I'm going to have to crack out the book for phase three. Once I get both feet down. One foot down, two feet down. Don't know what that did. Ow. Although I think it did increase my range, so that's good. Ow. Ow. There we go. That's him done. Fortunately, there's still no hearts around. I think I'm just going to go right in. And I got no devil deal. If I looked further, I probably could have found a joker card somewhere, but oh well. Not the end of the world. Three, four. Nope, no cards of Guppy there. Oh, jeez. Ah, I still get hit by a sight and that prick won't go away. No, oh, stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! There we go, now that thing go. That heart is nice. The coin is useless, but that's whatever. Oh god. Oh, sorry. Sorry I'm getting so quiet all of a sudden. Oh no! Another one of these. Spiders are like the worst things to be surrounded by. I mean, if you can get them all in one go, then it's fine. But that's not really hard to do. Right, that wasn't too bad. Surprisingly so. What's in here now? Fear! Fear does nothing with enemies that don't actually move or run away from you though. Well. I much prefer Mega Maw. Ooh, I actually haven't fought in a while. Oh damn. That was very stupid of me, and again very stupid of me. So my Steam notifications keep on going off telling me that some of the same person is playing various different games. Oh god. But I'm just ignoring it right now because it's in the bottom corner of my screen and there's no point in looking at the fool card repeatedly. Oh god. Okay, that's one of them. The other guy hit me foolishly. Or oh, 11 who hit me foolishly, more to the point. Oh god. Sorry I keep saying oh god, but that's just because I'm really tense right now. This is actually one of the harder games that I'm powerful in. You know, as opposed to just being super weak and just being like, yeah, everything is fucking me right now. This is bad. Yay, Pac-Man! Wagga, 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 wagga. This one's tough though, because you have to like... Hit them on the back. And these guys weren't running away from me as much as the Pac-Man guys usually do. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm totally 100% gonna die right now. Just straight up gonna die. Oh uh, jeez, don't. I uh, hate the Carrion Queen. It's like my f least favorite boss. Hey. There we go. Things aren't doing too bad, I don't think. There's no more hearts though. There's like no items anywhere in this place. Oh god. Anything but the ha anything but the mask. Uh, actually, the mask isn't too bad when you've got homing or when you've got shots that pierce. Because then they'll go right through. Yeah, certain bosses like that are actually fine. Chub and the mask of infamy and all that. Then you come up against like two carrion queens or even haunt when he jumps at you can be a pain in the ass. I don't know, like he doesn't have a lot of health. But if you kind of go up next to him and he just like shoots into you all of a sudden then it's like no, nah, you fucked. Especially when you only have one and a half hearts. Spider guy's not too strong. 
You just have to not let him stomp you. Oh, I'm not getting any chests. If you find a chest, then it'll be guaranteed to be an item, but I'm not finding anything. It's so unfair. Ooh. Gertie's are tough because they charge at you. And when there's two of them, then it's even harder to avoid. Okay. That's not good. Not good, not good, not good. Thank you for the soul heart. Okay. Jesus Christ, that was close. And this game is not handing me anything. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Sorry, I'm so tense right now. Oh. Okay, I'm still only I'm still only on one heart though. Oh god, I'm so tense right now. Oh okay. I mean now if I can actually get past the lamb then it's gonna be a pure fluke. So close. Oh, no, oh, jeez. And that one more hit and I'm gone. Okay. Please. Really? The last time you're going to give me. I actually do want to go back down to these three rooms though because I really feel like they're going to pay off. I say as I get into a room that's instantly going to kill me. Oh god. Damn it, I didn't press the fool card fast enough. I tried to hit it. I tried to press it before he reached me because I knew he was just going to hit me right away. I could have just gone in and fought the boss and give it my best shot, but I had to go back. I had to get greedy and I had to just... Look. I still unlocked. It lives. And I'll show you now. That's the wrong ending. Oh, that's the sound. And that is now what I'm going to be fighting instead of Mom's heart. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like an unborn Isaac or something. Anyway, after Azazel, it's time to go back to my best friend, Lazarus. Uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Lazarus at all. I don't think anyone is. Just because when he's alive, he's nothing special. And his special abilities only take effect when you die, which usually in this game you're going to try and avoid doing at all costs. I mean, having the extra life is handy as a last resort, but otherwise it's whatever, you know. But anyway, this episode feels like it went on longer than usual. If it has, I apologize, but whatever. I'm sure you like longer episodes. Who doesn't? But anyway, that's all for now, and hope you had fun. Peace out.